What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here with another travel update. Now, this travel update is based on the new information passed out about the lift in travel restrictions for air travel to the United States. Now, before we get into this video, I'm going to need all of you to hit that like button like Steph Curry deep from three. So hopefully by now you are subscribed to the channel and you loving the dope content I provide and information. Now, the past day or so, I was bombarded with titles, uh, clickbait as you will, of America's new travel restrictions, that restrictions lifted on vaccinated passengers. Well, back in the day, there was a dope show called Reading Rainbow. And on PBS, they had RIF, Reading is Fundamental. So me being me, I always take the time to investigate. I don't go for the titles, the fancy titles and the clickbait. I investigate on my own so I, get, I can give you guys the proper information. I know a lot of us don't like to read and stage of social media. We want somebody to tell it to us, so I'm gonna break it down to you. So let's read directly from the US government. Starting in November, no date has been specified. Foreign travelers will be allowed to fly into the US if they are fully vaccinated and undergo testing and contact tracing. What this means, this law is, not law, excuse me, restriction is specifically for the UK and the demand from the European allies to be able to fly to America. This really is for the UK and the European allies because they were mad they could not come to America and see their families. So America is lifting restrictions for those in the UK and the European allies to be able to travel to America if they're vaccinated and do strict testing. That's one part of this. Welcome to Blifo. So allow me to break it down even further before I get into the American side of this and what this means for you guys. So basically, all adult foreign nationals traveling to the US will be required to be fully vaccinated before boarding their flight. This is in addition to current requirements that travelers show proof of a negative COVID test taken within 72 hours of departure to the US. Now. Once the vaccination requirements are put into place, the White House will ease country-specific restrictions on international travels that have prevented non-citizens who have been in the United Kingdom, European Union, China, India, Iran, Republic of Ireland, Brazil, or South Africa in the prior 14 days from entering the United States. So as I said, these restrictions are mainly lifted for non-US citizens, people abroad who wanna to travel to America. Now, what does this mean for Americans? So, per the new ease on restrictions, what does this mean for Americans? Fully vaccinated Americans will only need to show proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken within 72 hours of departure to the US. That was already the rule. I thought that was already, okay, I guess. Is it ease on restrictions, but it's the same restrictions. Okay, so if you're unvaccinated, let's get into that. US citizens and permanent residents who are not fully vaccinated will still be able to fly to the US, but they will see tougher testing and contact tracing protocols. They will need to be tested within 24 hours of boarding a flight to the US, as well as undergo testing upon return to the country. It remains to be seen though, 
how the government will enforce the testing requirements upon return. Now, in another story, they also mentioned quarantine of foreign travelers. Per this, con per this article and per the CDC, previously I told you guys, when Biden recommended quarantine, the CDC said they have no plan and cannot effectively quarantine travelers. At this very moment, it still says the government nor the CDC have any plan or a way to effectively test every single traveler when they land in the United States. So, as I said, vaccinated or unvaccinated, you're still able to travel. Don't believe the clickbait. Don't believe the yada da or the BS. It's mainly for foreign travelers who want to come into America. When you travel, you still have to get tested on your way back to the United States. Now they're saying if you're unvaccinated, you will possibly get tested again when you land, even though they don't have a strict plan for that. <laughs> So all in all, it seems they gave a bunch of fancy words to try to get you to stop traveling again in November. But as per the, the documents, you can travel. If you're vaccinated, you still got to do the same testing you've been doing. If you're unvaccinated, you still got to do the same testing. But maybe they'll find a way to test you when you land in America. Who knows? They haven't put out a plan for it yet. So my, my suggestion is for the people who are unvaccinated, you have to get same day testing. I'd get tested at the airport. Your flight is a few hours. When you land in America, you still have the test. Unless they say, hey, maybe COVID was on a plane. Who knows? All I know is don't worry about the clickbait. Don't worry about the, the, the post saying, oh, vaccination or you can't travel. That's BS. I just broke it down to you guys. Straight from the source, straight from the government, straight from the news. You guys can travel. So enjoy traveling wherever you go. Enjoy your travel. My name is Mr. Flip Flop. Stay tuned for more updates. I'm out. To this day, to this day, to this day.